Hey, greetings and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at NGX Markdown. Please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, reach out to me in the comment section for any help, tips, and suggestions. All right, so I'm looking to do an additional two or three videos to the intro to NGX Markdown that we have here. Um, just in addition, I plan to work with code. Say, for example, you want to embed coding, you want to style that out, you want to add line numbers, I'll show how to get that done. All right, so first things first, what we want to go ahead and do is head to downkit.github.io. I always do this to grab the repo and start up the Angular application. And the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go into app.module. Right, and we want to import copy and paste this code to import the markdown. Now we have the feature and the functionality available in our application. Right, so next what we want to go ahead and do is you want to head into a type script. And we want to go ahead and copy and paste this markdown like so. Right, just a sample little markdown where you have your title, subtitles, and that in the third. And finally, what we want to go ahead and do is you want to use the component like so. So we copy paste like so. And now, um, when I go ahead and take a look at our web page, right, we are presented with this site, right? So now if I just want to go ahead and update structure, say for example, I just go ahead and update the structure. And let's make it uh, components, right? You can see that this is typed out. And this is really how the markdown gets to look on the DOM. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the more parts of NGNX Markdown where I go through more tutorials. Link to the lab will be posted in the video description and link to social media will be posted in the video description. Thanks for watching.